gathering as much news for you as possible, hit that like button and make sure you guys subscribe as well. Okay, so let's get right into it. We got Freeway, Freeway Ricky Ross. Now this is a guy who, obviously Rick Ross took his name from this guy. This guy was very uh, big in the drug game in the 70s and 80s and there's movies, Snowfalls about him. There's just, so he's a legend, you know? Very nice guy too and uh, this guy, um, got involved with you know the feds and he says what happens in the feds is people snitch on each other and he predicted he reacts to takashi snitching on everyone and then also we got um bow wow getting exposed for not paying a chef this is jordan tower with jt news hit that bell hit that subscribe button guys please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button i i can't stress that enough i appreciate you guys for supporting me you guys are amazing i hope you're having a great saturday let's get right into it let's get right into bow wow first okay so bow wow is always talking about my chef my chef he thinks that like he thinks he's puffy and jay-z these guys to have a chef right you gotta be pretty rich i know i know that people say it's not that much to have a chef it's an extra expense okay so if you have a chef you, you should be you know, making a million dollars a month, I think. Or, you know, at least, okay, not a million. I'm, I'm exaggerating. A hundred thousand a month, that's like, or maybe 50,000 to a hundred thousand a month if you, you know, really just want to waste your money like that. But like at 250,000 a month or something, you're like super rich, you know? So you might want a chef, okay? So you get a chef, okay? Bow Wow is always hiring and trying to live a life and li live a beyond his means, okay? Uh, there's been reports and he's gone to court saying he doesn't have money okay so he avoids paying child support now we know he's making money bow wow's not broke but he's not you know making millions a year okay and even if you're making millions a year you still got to give 40 percent to the government okay right off the bat because you're in a different class right so this guy uh, a guy that he he went to somewhere and he requested a chef and a guy took on the job. Now, this is what I warn anybody. If you ever work for somebody that's really rich, um, always with those people, even more than somebody that doesn't have a lot of money or, or someone that's famous, they think they can get away without paying. When you start asking for payment of your service, then things get spooky. Always get your payment up front and have documentation of your thing. I made this mistake. Obviously with DJ Khaled, he still owes me $2,500 and I can't really cry about it because I made a mistake, right? So then uh, this guy, uh, Dwayne Ferguson, a chef, said, I need this to be shared. Long post alert. Despite what you may think, it's still people out here who want to do the little guy dirty and take advantage of you. Your time and your talent is a way that should be criminal. Oh, take advantage of your time. Take advantage of your talent and it should be criminal. He said, Shadmas, Bow Wow, whatever you call yourself these days, you sought me out via your, through your security and asked me to cook for you in your suite at the W. You needed me because you didn't want to leave the room. You said, I'll cash you out. We shook hands like men. And I did what I was, I went grocery shopping out of my own pocket. I wouldn't, you, that's a big mistake. I've done this before where you think the, uh, the person's gonna pay you back. Um, I hate to throw this guy under the bus because he does so much positive for his community, but Trey the Truth, I did a video for him in the back in the day, and I bought a projector for the video with him and Yellow Wolf to get a look. And then he said, yo, don't worry, I got you. So I said, I think we can return the projector, but I gotta go somewhere after, I gotta fly out afterwards. Here's the projector, you or your people return it. Obviously, it never got returned. I lost my money. I lost $750. Trade the Truth never paid me, okay? I have nothing against Trade the Truth, okay? Uh, I should have made him pay for it because then he would have been responsible. He would have actually returned it, you know? Like, if it's somebody else's money, you probably you might not return it, right? So uh, it's not a big deal. He probably trusted somebody that didn't do it. It's not exactly all the way his fault, even though I'm still a little disgusted that you know, the moral wasn't there to do, to honor. I went to the grocery shopping out of my own pocket. Time constraints that you put on me. Uh, mind you, I was working at the time and left work to provide you with a service. And I did my thing. You weren't pressed in your team and your little heifers you had in the room. He shouldn't have said that. Uh, 
You asked me to come back the next day. I also agreed on the condition that we would settle up the tab then. Then you and your boys got quiet, shut the cell phone service off. I'm pissed, bottom line, I wanna be paid. You wouldn't perform for free, and my time and talent is not free. On the off chance that you see this, Mr. Moss, all I want is to be compensated fairly. Please share, repost this, I want my money. Uh, then he also puts up the, the DM of him trying to get in touch with him, and he ignored him. Next, I'll say Freeway Ricky Ross, okay? He knows a lot about the Fed system. He did like 10 to 20 years. He actually had a life sentence and actually beat it, you know, uh, learning, taught himself how to read, fought his case, and got out. He's been snitched on. He said, this is what happens in the Feds. People snitch. I predicted this. Takashi snitched on everybody to get time off, you know, and uh, he said it's very likely that he could only do like a few years and come out when everybody else gets football numbers because he threw everybody else under the bus. He said, this is how it goes. You know, as you know, Takashi mainly snitched on Shadi and Kudabi. Okay, he talked. Now, from there, a domino effect happened. Shadi allegedly has told on other people in the case which has implicated other people and indicted other people. It's a domino effect, because if one person's guilty, then it implicates this other person that was around this person at this time, and more people get indicted. So it's a domino effect when somebody snitches on somebody. It's very sad. Um, yeah, so he just reacted and said, I knew that was gonna happen. That's just what happens in the feds. Anyways, guys, um, I'm gonna get into something different this time. Um, I'm gonna put up a couple banks on the screen. That, that, I, that Don't take my financial advice to heart. You still gotta do your own research. But this is a great place to put money when you need access to your money. And it's in savings accounts now. There are, there's new types of savings accounts. Like if you go to Bank of America or something, they're offering you less than a percent on your savings account. If you go to like American Express, or places like that for savings accounts, you'll be earning 2% on your money. So you'll be making money while you're keeping your money in these places. So that's a positive thing. Um, I'll put up a couple of those on the screen. This is a great place to earn two to 3% on your money, just having it in savings. Now, some places have a limit, some places don't. Uh, we'll get into that later. I appreciate you guys. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. And